Oh man, I, uh, I've just been sleeping in the tent. I don't know what day it is, but we've just finished, uh, well we finished quite early actually, the marathon, part one of the marathon stage. Uh, we're going about one o'clock, so I had the afternoon to chill. I literally, the saying hit by bus, like, I feel like I've been hit by multiple buses. Um, I just think with the shoulder injury, it's catching up a little bit on me and uh, I'm having to compensate with other parts of my body and my brain's frazzled. I'm definitely like overthinking a lot, of, a lot of things. There was a few points today where I was in the zone and it was kind of coming easy. My, it was almost like autopilot. But um, yeah, today and yesterday, particularly yesterday was the shorter stage, like 113 kilometers, but that was the hardest one by far. I slept so bad and uh, it, my head went, I could not. I was losing my temper with myself and I, the bike, it was trouble. It was really struggled with uh, maintaining like a, a, not a focus, just cool head, you know. I lost my shit a bit yesterday and that went, but just escalated quite quickly. So, and that I, is simply sleep deprivation. You know, I reckon I'm averaging three or four hours a night and you know, I can get to bed early, but the, the it's noisy, I keep getting up for a piss. My arm is probably a bigger problem in bed with comfort than it is actually on the bike somehow. So it's like broken, bad sleep. It's really catching up. And uh, although I'm doing something great, I'm pretty grumpy at the moment. So uh, yeah, yesterday was not good. Today was definitely better. Uh, I feel again a little bit better now, having had a bit of a lay down in the tent for uh, for a couple of hours. Let me get some dinner shortly, and uh, and then again just get an early earliest possible night. I'm hoping. There's no liaison tomorrow, so we'll set off here and possibly get a little bit of a lion. I'm going to show you quickly where we're at. So uh, this is all the bikes. One's over here somewhere. In the marathon stage, you there's no support, so all the factory bikes are over there. Um, and then the other the other bikes are all, all GP two rally two bikes are uh, are all in this area. You get one hour when you when you pit in or when you finish the stage to uh, check over your bike and maybe change air filter or fix anything that's broken in the day. And uh, I just check my air filter and run a spoke key around the wheels and that is it. So it's kind of people look at the marathon day as a harder one, but for the Malay class I'm in it's actually the probably easiest one because you're forced to not really do anything to the bike There's no wheel changes or tire changes or oil changes it's bare minimum and uh, and that's uh, that's a good thing a good thing and then so when we came in there is uh, all the, these are car or side by sides and so on these trucks here this one and this one we had to put our overnight like bags on um, this morning before 5 a.m. and uh, and then they bring them to this sort of temporary bivouac here which I haven't really walked around yet I'll show you my tent is that one and there's a big uh, there's some guys sleeping in these big black tents and the food is over there somewhere so I'm gonna go and check check that out and then also, um, I need to uh, find the medical center and just get my shoulder strapped up. Again, all the, all the tapes come off, so I just want to try and look after it as much as I can. Um, but I think it's actually going to be a bit quieter here tonight compared to what we've had with the noisy trucks and 
dropped something in the bivouac where we've been staying. The uh, the lorry drivers just leave the freaking engines running all night. Just, I don't know why, but uh, anyway, that's um, that's about it. Today's stage was good. Really, it was long, 280. Well, I'll say long. It's not by far not the longest, but um, quite a lot of choppy dunes. But then big, long, dry lakes. I suppose you would call them. Um, so you would kind of heat up a little bit in the in the in the dunes, and then you get some recovery time along the flats, somewhat. So, but at the the high speeds. So sometimes uh, you know you you can average. A much higher speed than a day like that and uh, eats the miles up quicker and I um, freaking speeding penalties again I don't know as the rally goes on I seem to be getting worse but I actually also care less about speed penalties. <laughs> the time is irrelevant now I just want to get to the finish line um, and get this thing done but uh, well, I'm gonna go get some food medical and then sleep because I need more sleep <laughs> I reckon at home I average like eight at least eight so I'm well under half because I've had some bad nights and that uh, so I've had like I don't want to talk about it I'm just gonna go I'm gonna uh, but I'll, I'll uh, yeah other, other than I feel like I've just been moaning quite a lot my body is moaning. Anyway, a good sleep will fix help a lot and uh, hopefully I'll be a bit more positive and happy tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Well, another day in paradise. I don't even know what number stage we're on now. This is the second part of the marathon. Just get ready to leave the bivouac, 180. Uh, kilometer special today in the big dunes again it was actually quite fun yesterday so just try and keep the wheels turning and not waste energy getting stuck in the deep sand there was some nasty bits yesterday that were easy to drain a load of uh, energy and then you crash because you're tired and then you crash again and it's a downward spiral so Try and keep the bike upright today, ride conservatively and uh, get another day in the books and another another step closer to that finish line that uh, that we're here for. So <laughs> I'm laughing but uh, inside I think I'm crying. My body and brain is tired now. With camping in a tent and sleeping is not great. Uh, it's relentless, but that's that car, I guess. We keep pushing, and um, oh, yeah, we're nearly there. We are nearly there. Keep going. Woo! Soft today. Oh. <laughs> oh my days.
here, man. Yeah. And I can ride out. I just struggle with strength to lift, you know, to... Hang on. Hang on. You ready? No. Nope. Let me get the bars down. Okay. One, yeah. two, what? three. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, I'll keep it up now. Okay, so I'm trying to think what day it is. We finished the marathon stage, so uh, we have um, <laughs> we have two days, two days riding left. It's my brains. Um, I actually feel pretty good today, but still fairly frazzled from uh, everything that's been going on. But uh, yeah, two more stages to go. Um, but I just thought I'd do a quick video. I wanted to do this on the rest day, really. Uh, but quickly, I will do an update on the bike where we're at. So these bikes are ready now for, for tomorrow's stage. They're prepped and ready, including mine. So with the marathon stage, we did. Two, two stages, slept overnight with no tyre changes or oil or anything like that. So since I got back today, we've I've put new front and rear tyres. Just change the wheels. Clean the white chain. Look at that. Giving her some love on the chain and um, chain sprockets all clean. Air filter and air filter cover all clean. And a general check over, really. Try to. I don't know how many miles we've done now, but it definitely doesn't look like it did when I got it. She's looking a bit tired. I'm sure a good jet wash would help, but uh, a little shout out to Ricky at Monsters of Dirt. These graphics have held up real, real good. Nothing peeling anywhere. The a uh, tiny little bit here, which these rally bikes tend to do, where the fuel, the, the kind of fuel vapors come through the paint and uh, can lift the, lift the plastics, but the tabs, they're actually a lot better than I expected. Some some bikes look look terrible real quick, but uh, I did have some easy grip on here, which is rubbed off. You can imagine my leg uh, rubs here. See the paint's worn. Easy grip on the frame here is held up good, so anyway, I don't know where I was going with that with the bike, but she's definitely looking a bit tired. Needs a good clean, but this this <laughs> mechanically she's good though, we're really good. Um, so I was gonna do a quick uh, video on my toolkit now. I haven't sorted this out, so it is a bit of a mess on my toolbox, so there is how the riders boxes this is what the travels in the truck for us we get a little red carpet and it is a mess at the moment rags i've got old air filters in here i need to sort this out tonight this is one job to do what is that brake pedal so there was some box of spares in here that can go in the bin uh, there's some old road books here i've kept a couple from different stages so that was general bike parts in there. 
levers and things. Uh, zip ties, another dirty air filter. Rope it. Most of this is actually going in the bin, to be honest. Ah, oh, there's some oil filters. Still got two spare, so um, I got this silicone baking tray for bolts, which is ideal because it doesn't take up any room when, when I'm taking bits off the bike. Uh, can just throw them in there. And Tim Moore, the tool man, kindly sponsored me this tool set, which has been invaluable, to be honest. Um, I've used that literally every day. Uh, it's been much easier having it set like that. A nice little torque wrench as well, which is uh, helps peace of mind for uh, oil bolts, everything really. Just trying to do it to a torque setting, and then I know in my head I've done it. So, and then just another, a little suitcase here, a bit to another like a torch, and actually use that now. Some debranded drills that I bought. Uh, just because you never know, we're all sitting here and like lock wire pliers, just just general shite really. And if I'm touch wood, to be honest, I haven't had to do. I don't want to curse this, but I really maintenance-wise, other than oil and general stuff, I did a chain of sprockets on rest day and tyres, etc. But. Um, I think I've been pretty lucky and I don't want to curse that but uh, so far so good um, and I wrote a little list here as well this was just great uh, obviously this is from a couple of days ago but I just jotted some things down there and used it as a as a, a notepad really for what's to do but that's um, that's pretty much it. I've got to pack all this up now. I'm going to sort it out, clear it up, throw the rubbish out and get that box ready because we're moving on again tomorrow. It's uh, onto another bivouac and then, and then the home run. So we, uh, yeah, yeah, still going and it's all, all seems to, feels like it's gone a bit quick now to be honest, but, um, bit of a blur so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wrap up sort this toolbox out get uh, I'm gonna get a pizza tonight I'm gonna buy a pizza because I'm sort of sick of this food they give us in the uh, I mean it's not 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 nice but it's just quite repetitive and uh, a sample of pizza from the pizza van demolish that We've got riders briefing, find out tomorrow's stage details, and then sleep. Bank some sleep and uh, go again tomorrow. So, whatever day that is, but two more to go, and then it's uh, home time. I'm going to show you, meet you somebody actually. Caesar is uh, a nice, nice guy from Italy. Always, always very smart and smiley. Caesar, yo. Can you uh, say hello here to my Hi. video diary? Hi! Ciao! Great rider! Uh, <laughs> great, really, really great rider! Today was good, eh? Yeah. Really. Enjoyable. Yeah. Funny, really. Not, not beautiful. Perfect are you, day. Are you ready now? Yeah, all done. How do you feel? Good now. Yeah, great. Sleep? Okay. Grande. I'm gonna get pizza tonight. Pizza? Yeah. You, you want one? Hey, good guy, nice people here. So anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, I'll just sort this toolbox out first. See you soon.